Hello everyone, welcome to Azure DevOps course. So today we are going to see how to deploy our Node.js web application on our Azure DevOps portal. Okay, in the previous session we have uh, deployed uh, one Java Maven project on our Azure DevOps portal. So today we will uh, deploy our Node.js web application on Azure DevOps and uh, Azure portal using a uh, web app service. Okay. So let's see. So here you can see my GitHub repository. I am uh, using Node web, web application for the demo. Okay. So here you can see in the index.js file. Okay. We have the one web application. Okay. So we will deploy it in on our Azure DevOps for uh, and Azure portal. Okay. So let's move on our Azure portal. So here you can see my Azure DevOps project, which is a S3 Cloud. Okay. So first of all, we will go to the pipeline for build our CI/CD pipeline to publish our artifacts to create release pipeline. Okay. So just uh, click on the new pipeline. Here we will select uh, our resource code. Okay. So we have a research code in our GitHub. So we will select the GitHub. Now we will select the repository. Okay. So here you can see my repository name is Node.js Docs Hello World. Okay. So here I am selecting that repository. Now we have to configure our pipeline. So we have to choose our template. So we will use Node.js template and uh, it will generate one YAML file for us. But uh, we have to make some changes in this YAML file because we have to generate artifact for our release pipeline. Okay, so I have made one YAML file. Okay, so I will just Based on it. Here you can see trigger, which is a main branch. Then uh, our uh, virtual image will be open to latest. Okay. Then uh, the task. First task is uh, install Node.js. Then install dependencies. Then it will be run, run code. Okay. Then here you can see run unit test. After uh, following this step, it will generate one artifact file. Okay, so we will copy that artifact file in our artifacts drop. Okay, here you can see drop. So let's click on the save and run. Now here you can see our uh, job is has been started. So we will click on that and uh, we will see here the logs. Here we can see all the process, our building process. Okay. So it will take a few time. Now here you can see all the tasks for our build job. Okay. First initialize job, then uh, check out, then install Node.js. Okay, then npm install and build. Then copying file to artifacts. Then publish build artifacts. Okay. This task will uh, take uh, more time. It will publish one build artifact file for us. Okay. So now here you can see after five minutes, it's uh, Done. So now it will be run post job. And uh, here you can see our uh, CI/CD pipeline is uh, run successfully. Okay. So now here you can see in the artifacts, we have published one artifact in the drop. Okay. So here you can see all the node modules or uh, more package. Okay. Now we have to create one app service for our uh, Deployment this uh, web application. Okay, so we will go to the uh, Azure portal. So here you can see our Azure portal. Okay, so now 
here we will create one azure uh, azure web app service for our web application deployment okay so now just uh, go to the create resource okay now we will create first uh, service plan okay for our billing process as your service plan here you can see app service plan here okay so we will create this now we will click on the create okay here we will select the resource group okay then we will give the name of this service so i will give just web plan okay then uh, i will select operating system as linux then we have to select our region okay so i will select south east asia then we have to select uh, one pricing plan okay so here you can see pre plan but uh, for our web application we need uh, one standard plan which is a uh, paid okay so i will select standard s1 plan and uh, here you can see the price 7.9 indian rupees per hour okay so i will select this then we will click on the create and review now here you can see all the configuration of our service plan okay so we will click on the create and here you can see deployment in progress for our service service plan now it is done so we will go to the resource okay so now here you can see cpu percentage memory is uh, blank now okay because uh, we have not deployed any service on this plan okay so just click on the home and uh, here you can see our web plan okay now we will create one azure web web app okay here you can see one web app then we will select our resource group and uh, we will give the web app name so i will give s3 cloud app web okay now we will select the code then uh, we have to select the uh, text for our project so, so i am using node js so i will uh, select node 18 lts okay then we will select the region south east asia then our uh, linux plan will web plan okay which we have created just now then we will click on the create and review okay so just click on the create here you can see the deployment in progress so it will take a uh, couple of minutes so we have to waiting okay it is done so we will go to the service resource and here you can see all the details of our uh, service plan here you can see resource group name then a uh, subscription and uh, other all the details okay here uh, you can see deployment section in this uh, deployment section we can see the deployment center so we will go to the deployment center okay so now it is uh, empty okay we will uh, 
deploy our uh, web app on this uh, deployment center okay but uh, we will do this all thing from our uh, devops portal so we will go to the our devops portal then uh, here you can see under the pipeline section one release option okay so we will create uh, one new release pipeline for our deployment okay so here we will select the template for our node.js app okay now we need to add our artifacts okay which is built by our cicd pipeline so here you can see our project name is sd cloud app then we will select this repository okay this build pipeline which we have created just now in this our uh, cicd pipeline section so we will click on the add now we will click on the here stage 1 in this stage 1 here you can see the some configuration okay now we will select the azure subscription then uh, our app type which is a uh, web app on linux then we have to give the app service name which uh, we have created just now in our azure portal so our app service name is uh, s3 cloud app web so we will copy and uh, paste it here okay you can select it uh, from this uh, drop down also now go to the deploy azure app service and uh, we need to give our package folder for our artifacts so we will give this uh, whole drop okay so click on the okay and uh, click on the save now here you can see create release so we will click on that and here you can see the pipeline details okay stage 1 so just click on create and uh, our one release has been created so here you can see which status is queued so it will take a few minutes for deployment okay here you can see our task is running now initialize job then uh, it's showing download artifacts so from this we can see the logs okay so it is uh, downloading the all artifacts okay so it will take few minutes because uh, we have lots of uh, node modules in our uh, web app okay here you can see all the process which is too long now here you can see our uh, download artifacts task is done and uh, here it is deploying our uh, azure app okay so it is our last task for our deployment okay
so now here you can see our deployment process is almost done and uh, it is done okay so we will go to the deployment azure app service okay and uh, here you can see one url for our app service application url so we will open it and uh, here you can see our hello world which is our web page we can see it uh, from our azure portal also so go to your azure portal and uh, here you can see default domain okay so from that we can see this web page also okay and uh, now we will go to the deployment center and uh, here we can see our uh, source is azure repos and uh, project s3 cloud of repository name uh, jamin7364 then our uh, repository name and uh, branch name is main which is connected with our azure devops okay so we have successfully deploy our uh, node js web app on our azure this url you can share anything okay and uh, you can see your web application on any browser or from any network okay so thank you for watching this video if any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day